100%. That dimple might get them. That's for sure. Yes, that little dimple sticking out, that kind of spherical shape. It's going to be interesting to see how both of them. You can see even Ricardo Jean, the master, is getting a little bit hung up on that feature. Well, I think I know what he's going for here. And yeah, it's one of those things that can frustrate you mentally when you're trying to make a sphere and you realize it needs something to go around. So this is one of my favorite battles from the entire tournament. This is a tier five model with a thin walled element. And what I really like about this battle is that when you've got a thin walled element, the order in which you construct your prior features really becomes important. And so as you're watching this match, be sure to watch both of the runners and see if you can recognize where one of the runners maybe went a little bit astray with the order of his feature creation. And let me know down below in the comments what you discover. And of course, if you're out there and you're looking for some more of these tier five and tier six challenges, be sure to head over to twotalltoby.com. We've been migrating some of the challenges from the tournament into the practice models library. So you can go into that library, you can access these 2D to 3D challenges and you can practice and then practice again and then practice again and really refine your workflow so that if you run into a similar model in the real world, you'll be ready, you'll know what to do. You'll know the order in which your features need to be when you're working with a thin walled part. All right, guys. Like I said, this is one of my favorite battles in the entire tournament. I hope you enjoy it. His YouTube channel in chat. Under pressure, design fast like a leopard. Pay attention. He's dangerous. Wow. So Yo, I like that. That's a, that's a nice, nice hype there. Neil Z, shake it off a little bit. This next one is going to be epic. We've got Ricardo Jean, he's got one point so far. If he can win this next battle, he's gonna move on to the championship against our good friend Atse. We've got Neil Z, if he can win this next point, we all win because we all get to see a third match. Here we go. This next CAD versus CAD battle featuring Neil Z from the United States running Fusion, our number three seed, going up against Ricardo Jean from Italy running SolidWorks, our number two seed, our number three seed versus our number two seed in the semifinals. This CAD versus CAD battle begins in three, two, one, go! What is the mass of this part in 0.xxx pounds? We got another pounds model for you guys. 0.xxx pounds. Both of our runners are looking at this challenge. Both of our runners are grabbing a screen capture and both of our runners are taking a moment to decide how they're gonna model this thing up. So, wow, wow, wow. This is a cool model. I gotta ask there, Toby, is there a video of you designing these and getting them to the point of drawing that's posted somewhere? You definitely could do that. You definitely could do that. It would be interesting to see your thought process where midway through you go, nope, that's gonna be too easy. <laughs> Let's make this a little more challenging. Yeah, there's a lot of that for sure. So this is a very interesting model. This model is called Rocker Lid. And we got Neil Z on the left. Looks like he's modeling up a shape to maybe revolve. And we got Ricardo Jean on the right. He's already drawn first blood and he's already gotten a fillet in there on the bottom of that part. So he's got two features already in this thing. Looks like he's deciding to go after this thing uh, using extrudes. Interesting. Neil Z taking the more traditional approach, doing this thing as a revolve. Neither of our runners have ever seen this model before, so they both have to come up with a game plan and then start modeling. And that's part of the, the skill that we're really showing off in this tournament. You know, can you look at something for the first time and think about things like order of feature creation and the types of, like, kind of imagine the feature tree in your head before you even start with your first sketch. And these guys are truly masters at that craft. 100%. I'm excited to see how this all plays out because in some ways I'm already in my brain thinking, oh, that would work good for this, but that's not going to work good for that, right? Yes, exactly, exactly. And uh, Matab in the chat uh, throwing out a little compliment there, likes the way that that feature was created. So very nicely done there, Ricardo, getting a shout out from Matab. This is a tier five challenge, tier five challenge, the top Mexican in the chat asking. And it looks like Ricardo is now going in and hollowing that thing out. So that's interesting. So uh, we had uh, some different approaches here modeling through this, this part, but now we run into another feature that is not often seen. 
in these tournaments, and and uh, that feature is this uh, a feature that gets called out as spherical. And so our runners need to examine that feature and try to come up with a plan on how they're going to create something that is spherical. So this will be really interesting to watch Ricardo Jean trying to go through and create that. And Neil Z on the left has already got that circular ball sticking up out the middle. So um, although they, they took different paths, it's very difficult to tell who's truly ahead at this point. 100%. That dimple might get them. That's for sure. Yeah, it's that little dimple sticking out, that kind of spherical shape. It's going to be interesting to see how both of them. You can see even Ricardo Jean, the master, is getting a little bit hung up on that feature. Well, I think I know what he's going for here. And yeah, it's one of those things that can frustrate you mentally when you're trying to make a sphere and you realize it needs something to go around, right? Yes, you you said it perfectly there, Phil. That is exactly the, the challenge that people run into. So... Creating a sphere, a very good skill to learn. You know, you, you never know when you're going to need it. Oh, but Ricardo Jean looks like... Oh, he did you see that? He revolved it. He had that extra junk in the middle. He used that delete dingus feature in SolidWorks and got rid of it. Wow. That is really impressive. Big B from AZ says, boom, delete face. And I know that Neil Z is, a, is also a user of delete face, uh, a fellow delete face master. And so uh, uh, Neil Z, should he come upon a similar challenge, I'm sure he'll know exactly how to handle it. Uh, but uh, Ricardo Gene now moving through that feature. You could tell that that was a feature that kind of left him struggling for a moment. He really slowed down. Now you can see that he's just cruising again. He's back into kind of a uh, comfort zone. And looks like he's going to be looks like it's he's, like a, it's one of those things like always is, you know, I've seen somebody say it in chat. You know, it was much easier to design the second time. That's for sure. Right? Yes, exactly. Exactly. And wow, it's so impressive to see these guys having never seen these parts before having to look at it because that is true. You know, sometimes that's the that's the secret. But uh, having never seen these parts before and just blasting through them and modeling them up so quickly and. It's crazy when we get to this level of competition that it's not necessarily a speed thing as much as most people think like although there is times right now that models are getting done quick and they're right it's more important for accuracy to slow down mm -hmm. Ricardo, we've seen the uh what is it the uh death clock come up a couple of times yes exactly yeah it's not just about being fast it's got to be got to be accurate as well and sometimes that means knowing how to make certain features so all right so now we're gonna watch we're watching the chat we're watching the chat and Ricardo Jean comes in with his answer in just five minutes and 20 some seconds. 0 0.470 pounds. And that is correct. And congratulations to Ricardo Jean moving on in the tournament and becoming our second finalist in this year's CAD vs. CAD World Championship of 3D CAD speed modeling. Guys, throw some GGs into the chat. That was super impressive. Super, super fast modeling. And definitely in that one, an order of operations thing. We saw there that uh, Neil Z maybe would have gotten a little, or did get a little bit hung up there on the creation of that thin wall, having uh, started out with that revolve where Ricardo Jean kind of spotted that that thin wall went around that tombstone shape. And so he just kind of incorporated that into his original solid. That is a very astute observation and super impressive, especially considering these guys have never seen this thing before. It's a tricky model, a tricky tier five model there. And wow, 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 congratulations and well done. And I'm just gonna go back to the, the shared screen again here. You'll notice that Ricardo Jean actually has made his own cat model there. He's made his own cat model flipping back and forth and uh, really, really cool there. And so, Good job to all of our runners today. It was really fun watching everybody today.